talking about that already, Katie. Make sure to turn off that water. Yeah, first hard freeze of the season. Protect your sensitive plants outside too. We will gradually see 80s return by the end of the week and into the next weekend. But yes, we have that big blast of cold air that'll bring some widespread snow and very frigid temperatures to the region on Tuesday morning. But for the rest of the weekend, we still have some hot weather to deal with. Mostly clear skies from Loveland Ski Area in through downtown Denver. It is hazy out there this morning with wildfires continuing to burn in our state. So if you ooh, suffer from respiratory issues. We want to limit the time outside today. Temperature wise, we're mild right now. We're at 68 degrees in Denver. Winds though kicking out from the southwest at 13 miles per hour and breezy conditions over Broomfield, the northeastern plains over uh, Berthoud Pass last recorded there at 35 miles per hour. So if you're hiking in the mountains, it's definitely going to be a breezy afternoon, especially over those higher elevations. Your biking forecast for the metro area to get out earlier, the better because by 11 o'clock we will already be at 91 degrees in town with high 90s through the late afternoon and early evening hours. It is going to be another very hot one, similar to what we saw yesterday. Our record is 97 set back in 2013. We will look, get close to that, if not break that later on this afternoon out at DIA. We broke the record yesterday as well for uh, extreme heat. Our high country planner, it's going to be really nice into the mountains. Noon up near Vail and Aspen will see mid to upper 70s with 80s expected there at the valley level. 86 in Aspen, high 80s Steamboat Springs 90s over Eagle, triple digit heat over the southeastern corner of Colorado and out near Grand Junction. Fire danger, a concern though, so please adhere to burn bans across the state. No campfires, fire weather warnings in place from the eastern plains up through Fort Collins and Greeley into our adjacent foothills and mountains. Taking us through our future cast, what you can expect for the rest of the afternoon, not a lot of cloud coverage, so definitely want sunscreen today. Temperatures will be hot into the afternoon in the high 90s in Denver, and then winds will be gusty through about about 6 o'clock tonight, we'll gradually see some calming conditions with overnight lows under a mostly clear sky dropping to the upper 50s here across town. Now tomorrow we'll wake up with sunshine, beautiful for our Labor Day. It is going to be windy again into the afternoon ahead of this next very strong cold front, a high near 92 degrees. And then here's Tuesday morning. It'll move into all of the state, bringing a good chance for a lot of snow at higher elevations up into Rocky Mountain National Park, our adjacent foothills just west of Boulder, downtown Denver. It's been so warm that I I think a lot of the snow will melt on impact, but it is going to stay cold Tuesday. Bust out that warm jacket that's been in the closet for the entire summer at 37 degrees for a high. And yes, you'll really want to protect your pipes, your plants on Tuesday night into Wednesday with 28 degrees for an overnight low. Eric will cool, uh, clear out, but still stay cool on Wednesday at 55, gradually warming to the 70s Friday and then back to the 80s. More seasonal weather by next weekend. Short lived. We still have September and it's beautiful.